there. Um, since it's New Year's, I decided to wear this uh, huge fink, <laughs> fink, huge pink feather boa. And I'm not really doing anything for New Year's, but I was feeling a little bit festive, so here you have it. <laughs> anyway, I wanted, I was watching some of Mel Bas Mel's Basket Cases videos, and um, she was talking about the God fight or something like that, and um, she was just talking a little bit about um, how the Earth might evolve or whatever, and... Um, yeah, I just wanted to uh, agree with her that yes, eventually the er, the sun will burn out and it'll s become super huge and swallow up the earth and surrounding planets and everything so we'll all be dead. So unless we can figure out a way to get out of the solar system, <laughs> um, but this is like billions of years from now. But um, I was also watching this thing and I guess the most pressing problem that humans face right now is not whether we're going to be hit by an asteroid or, um, you know, collide with a black hole or anything like that, but, I mean, because then we'd just be dead anyway, but um, one thing that we can prevent is war, um, and a lot of that is really caused by religious um, fighting, it seems like. So, if we could get a handle on, you know, just getting rid of war, um, that would probably end a lot of the suffering in the world. But I don't really have a lot of hope that that's going to happen in my lifetime, <laughs> unless we have, like, some other big thing to rally around. Um, yeah, I don't really see it happening. And, um... I guess another thing that could probably wipe out lots of the population would be um, human disease, like infectious diseases, um, like the Ebola virus or, you know, of course there's AIDS and everything like that. There, I mean, if like AIDS was transmitted through the air or something, then that would be just like chaos and people would just drop dead everywhere. So. We, I guess the end of the world could come by way of infectious diseases, <clears throat> and if that doesn't get us, um, let's see, what else could get us? I don't know, but <laughs> um, I think our main concern, oh yeah, global warming, that could be a big problem. Um, I mean, it is sort of a big problem already, but... Um, you know, our, our leaders in the United States don't want to do anything about it because they don't believe it's an actual problem. I mean, some leaders do, but yeah, like Bush, I don't think he sees it as a problem. Of course, he's not going to be around in, you know, 50 years to see what it's like, but um, I guess he doesn't care too much about his kids or his grandkids. I don't really know. And um, I think most of the things that could cause worldwide catastrophe are actually preventable if we choose to, you know, deal with the problems, but I don't really think we're going to deal with the problems that well because we haven't so far, and, um, yeah, so if we don't kill ourselves through war, um, infectious diseases, which could be spread by you know, terrorists or other people. Nuclear war is, of course, a problem, and the United States is the biggest meanie in that <laughs> situation. We have more nuclear bombs than anybody on the planet, I think, and we have the biggest idiot in charge of those nuclear bombs, so that's not a good thing. <laughs> um, uh, but I don't know, you just, I don't know if you can really worry about all this crap too much because you won't get anything done otherwise. Um, let's see, so, yeah, I think, like, solar system disasters are kind of low on our list of what's gonna wipe out the human population. And it is really sad, though, but eventually that's gonna be what happens if humans can survive that long, which I really doubt they will. But, um, <laughs> so, yeah. 
it's kind of sad, but I, I recommend to all of you, you should read um, Stephen Hawking's books about space-time and um, all sorts of planetary and universe things, because it's really interesting stuff. It just kind of makes you go, wow, the universe is so large and so small at the same time. <laughs> and he's really intelligent, um, and I love his books and everything. Um, I think I've mentioned him before. He's like an astrophysicist in Cambridge, I think, or somewhere in England. And, um, yeah, so check him out. And, by the way, he is like, um... I think he has maybe Lou Gehrig's disease or some other disease where basically he's completely paralyzed except I think now he uses his eyes to move a keyboard or something or to communicate so it's pretty fucking amazing. <laughs> um, I just am amazed by that guy. Um, and yeah, so if we could just quit fighting about religion that would be like a step in the right direction. You know, I don't know why people need to fight about it. You know, one person has their belief, another person has another belief. Just, you know, deal with it. Why can't everybody just have their own beliefs and then, you know, just worship what you want or don't worship what you don't want? And it's like we're living in the medieval times still <laughs> and dealing with um, all these wars and genocides and, um, I don't understand why people want war because it just is so much nicer to live in peace. Um, but that would be my hope for the new year, that there would be more peace in the world. But I know that's just like a Miss America dream. <laughs> just like, oh yes, I want to win the Miss America pageant and I want world peace. But yeah, uh, I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> Um, it would be nice. Everybody wants that, of course. I mean, I don't know anyone who doesn't want that, but this video is getting long, so I guess I should shut up now. <laughs> I just want to wish you all a Happy New Year, and welcome to the year 2007.